This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good evening, everyone. I'm recording this year at 3 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and this is a share for children of all ages, from 5 to 99. If you're older than 99, you might not find this interesting. And uh, we welcome everyone, those who are joining us at 3 a.m. from the West Coast, from Eretz Israel. It's great to have you. So we know that at this time of the year, we have a very special mitzvah of Sviras Omer, of counting the Omer. And what's that all about? So we have to know that the Chinuch, the master of the mitzvah, says that counting shows desire. Counting shows wanting something. So for example, if you're a big baseball fan, normally this year the baseball season was postponed. Maybe it won't even happen for 2020, but it's definitely going to be a shortened season. But if you're a baseball fan, you can't count, you can't wait, you count when is opening day, when they start playing baseball. And if you go to camp, you count, when am I going to go to camp? How many days are left? How many weeks are left? Whenever, if your father told you, if your tati, daddy, abba told you that if you're a good boy, you're going to get a drone. Or if you're going to get a good girl, you're going to get a new dress. You count. Counting shows that you're excited about something. When somebody's going to get married, so they count until they get married. If somebody has a vacation, they count towards the vacation. Counting shows excitement. So the Chinuch says that all Jewish people, they count to something special. They count to Matan Torah to when the Torah is given. Because that which excites us the most is Torah. You know, Hashem said, we make a bracha, that Hashem chose us as His special people. We say it, Asher bracha banu mi kolo amin. I chose you. So, you know, it says Hashem chose us. So if He chose us, you know, He has a lot of, the 70 nations. So if He chose us, what did He give us special? So it says in the bracha, Asher bacha banu mikola amim v'nosan lanu es teirasai. If we're going to, as a people, if we're going to count, we're not counting to baseball. We're not counting to football. We're not counting to a drone. We're not counting to the summer. We're counting to Tyra. So many of you are listening and say, yeah, except one problem, Rabbi Weiss. I'm not so excited about Torah. I'm excited about a drone, especially a good one. I'm excited about a vacation. I'm excited about camp, about a bike, about a dress. I'm excited about a shaitel. But I'm not excited about Torah. Torah? It's hard, Torah. So, you're right. You see, really Torah is the best thing. Talmud Torah can get cool on. Torah is... Like we say, the best is Chayr. Not only that, but really, ain't simcha kesimcha satayr. There's no joy like the joy of Torah. Ramesha Feinstein, Zechot Tzadik, the Kosh of Rachel's Chusa Yagan Aleinu said that wine, you know, wine can make a person very happy. Yayin yisamach levav enosh. But an Ovel could drink wine, but he can't learn Torah. You could go to a, a Beisach forest, a cemetery, and right next to the grave you could drink wine. But you can't hold a little Gemara because they know the truth. Pikudei Hashem Yesharim Really, Torah is the greatest happiness. 
So why aren't people so happy about it? Why don't people do it more? If we're supposed to count to it, how come people, <laughs> you know, tonight, it was the fifth night of Svira. Tomorrow, the first day of, the, the first day of the second days of Yom Tov is going to be the sixth day of Svira. Why are people, <laughs> why are people counting with so much excitement? So first of all, it's because we know we have a Yetzirah. We have an evil inclination. And it's the Yetzirah's job to try to stop us from doing mitzvahs. Now, the biggest mitzvah possible is Tyre. Talmud Torah can I get kula? The Rabbi Nisham created the world for Tyre. Because it says, Hashishi. It doesn't say ha hamishi. It doesn't say ha sheni. It only says ha shishi. Rashi says the ha, the hey, is the chamisha chamshei tayr, the five books of the tayr. Ha shishi is the sixth day of Sivan when the tayr is given because the whole world was created for Torah. That's what it says. Im loy brisi yaimav alayla chuka shemayim vavetzoy The whole world was created for Torah. So if the Yetzirah is going to try to stop us from doing anything, it's going to be Tyra. That's why people aren't naturally happy, naturally excited about Tyra, because the Yetzirah tries to stop us. So you'll say, Rabbi Weiser, then what can I do about it? Uh, you know, I have a Yetzirah, he's very powerful, and he picks on Torah more than anything else. I'm not stronger than the Yetzirah. <laughs> Uh, what chance do I have? So the first thing is, is that every morning we say a bracha to ask Hashem for help. You know where that bracha is? Vaharevna Hashem aleikeinu es divrei seroscha befinu. The word vaharevna means, harev is arevis, is sweetness. Harevna, please Hashem make as divrei saraschah, the words of your Torah, sweet befinu. We ask Hashem, please, help it should be sweet. You know, there are things that are naturally sweet. Sugar. Now the truth of the matter is, Torah is sweeter than sugar. Torah, could you believe it that Torah is sweeter than honey? It's, you're looking at me like, oh, I open up the Gemara, it doesn't look... I open up a chumish, I open up a mishnah, it's not as sweet as honey. But it is. It's misukim midvash v'naifes sufim. It's sweeter than honey, and the sweetest honey comes. That's why when we cut a baby's hair, when the baby is three years old, before we do it, we take an olive paste chart, and we put a little honey on the olive, and if he says olive, we give him the honey. Because it's sweet like honey. But the Yetzirah is blocking us. So the first thing we do is we pray to Hashem. If you're davening Shemay Nasrei, if you're old enough to daven Shemay Nasrei, we say, Ato chonein Adam das. Chonein means a gift. Chonein means chinam, free. It's a freebie. Ato chonein Adam das. You gift us with knowledge. Umelameid leno ishbina. And you teach people to understand. We ask Hashem for that. Give us the gift of of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. We also have to understand and appreciate. We have to learn. The Hashem made it. Hashem doesn't want the Yetzar to succeed. He just gives it to us that we should be able to overcome the Yetzirah. That's how we get reward in this world. But Hashem says, if you sit down and learn, oh, then I'm going to let you taste how sweet it is. It says, Hoi called some, behold all those that are thirsty, l'chulamayim, go to the water. Go to the water, in mayim It says, tamuru, taste it, then you'll see, but you have to taste it. You have to make the first move. You have to open up that safer. Open up an interesting one. Get a really exciting Haggadah. Look in the house. I'm sure you have an exciting Haggadah. Tamuru, taste it and you'll see. Ki toiv Hashem. Toiv is Torah. 
And toivel a toira, shenema ki lekach toiv, nasati lochem. Good merchandise I gave you. Toirasi al tazayvu, don't forsake my toira. Tamaru ki toiv Hashem. Now, when it says Hashem, it's also referring to the toira. Because Hashem is in the toira, it says that when we open up the Torah, when we open up a Chumash, when we open up a Mishnah, is Hashem is talking to us. You see, when you're daven, you're talking to Hashem, but when you open up a Chumash, you open up a Chumash, and Hashem is talking to you. And that's, what could be better than Hashem talking to you? Tamaruki Taim Hashem! And you know something? When you're learning Torah, you're breathing. When, when the Romans told Rabbi Akiva that if he teaches Torah, he's going to be put to death. So Rabbi Akiva kept on teaching Torah. So Papas asked Rabbi Akiva, why are you doing that? He said, because just like a fish needs to swim in the, Torah, in the water, a Jew has to learn Torah. Because a fish, if you take a fish out of water, what happens? I, 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 I can't breathe. Really, without Torah, we're not breathing. You don't realize it because it's the neshama. But you have to know that if you don't have any Torah, your neshama is having a very hard time breathing. But when you open up a Chumash, when you open up a Haggadah, when you open up a Mishnayis, when you open up a Gemara, the neshama goes, Ah, I can breathe. And therefore, when we count the Svira, what you're doing is... You're saying, Hashem, I can't wait for Shavuos. I can't wait for Torah. And I, Hashem, help me. Help me that I should really taste the sweetness of Torah. Help me that I should be able to taste the Gishmak of Torah. And children, I want to tell you one more thing. Now, because it's not safe outside, there's a virus... So we don't go to shul. But when we go to shul in the night, everybody listens to the rabbi count sphere. Right? And everybody is quiet. And the rabbi goes, Baruch Ator Hashem, Malikainu Melech, Oilam, Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvaisa V'Tzivanu Al Svira Asoimer, Hayoyim Yoyim Chamisha. Everybody, everybody listens to the rav count sphere. Why is that? The answer is because during Svira, all of Rabbi Akiva's Talmidim died. All of them. All 24,000. Because they didn't give cover to one another. And therefore we make sure, especially at this time of the year, that we give cover. We give cover to our parents. Your parents ask you something? You're not allowed to say no. You don't. Could you clean your room? No, ma. No, you can't say no. You can't say no to a mommy or a tati, to an abba or an ima. You can't scream at an abba or an ima. And you have to have respect for your Rebbe. It's Hashem. If you're learning on Zoom, you have to have respect for your Rebbe. It says, tokum. One who has wisdom. You have to hadarta means you have to respect. And whenever we give respect, you know, we know that Maruba Mida Taiva Mamidas Piranias, reward is five hundred times greater than punishment. So if for not showing respect, they Talmud and Rabbi Kiva were punished, and they were punished terribly then 500 times more than that is the reward. The reward, that's why it says, Long life in this world and long life in the next world, forever and ever and ever. But not just long life, but good life. So therefore, let's remember that Spirit teaches us that the Americans might, might count to baseball, and they might count to football, and they might count to basketball, and they might count to hockey, and they might count to soccer and cricket. What do we count? We count towards Shavuos, towards Tyra. And Hashem, please, Arevna Hashem Alekeinu is Divisa Rasko Bafino. Let it be sweet. Hashem, 
I'm not going to wait because I know the Yetzirah is trying to trick me to talk me into that Torah is only a drag. That Torah is only a burden, homework, and uh, yeah. I'm going to taste the Tamaruki Toiv Hashem. It's great when I open up the Chumash and the Gemara and Hashem is talking to me. What could be better? And in that merit, I want to wish all of you should grow up to be Talmidei Chachamim Yerei Shemayim with good friends and happiness and your parents and grandparents and you should be safe. We should all be safe with no scares and healthy and be able to soon get back to shul and get back to yeshiva. To your parents, I want to remind everybody a good way to give yet before Yom Tov. is to give to chickensforshabbos.com a wonderful organization that helps 300 malamdim grushes agunais chickensforshabbos.com and uh, thank you very much for joining us and have a very gishmaka and wonderful Yom Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.